Before we begin, I'd like to thank the following members for joining my channel and helping support the community grow more and more. Thank you so much. If you would like to become a member, make sure to push the join button beside the subscribe button. And here comes the video. Holy crap, I wish that was not laggy. Is there any way for me to replay that? <laughs> Hey guys, All Little Windows here. Today I am back with another video. And today what I'm going to be doing in this video is I'm going to be installing Windows Whistler build 2264. I am actually very, very excited for this build and you guys will definitely see why I'm so excited for this build later. I got my $5 Windows 98 laptop out. It's a, a Dell Inspire on, I think it's the 7500. Uh, it's got an Intel processor and I think it's got a Pentium 2 and it has an AMD GPU inside of it as well. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this laptop turned on and get it all ready and set up. Ah, I was wrong. It's actually the Pentium 3 that's inside. And it's, you know, Intel inside, Pentium 3, you know. I got this laptop off of eBay for $5. All right, let's power this thing on. All right, there we go. Microsoft codename Whistler. Not sure what computer settings is applying or why they unapplied. All right, here we go. Applying your personal settings. Oh yeah, you love to hear it. I don't know why I keep saying this. It's never done that before. Shut up. Are you done? Okay. You're done. <laughs> All right. As you can see, we are now in build, I think 2257. Let's see. Yeah, we are in uh, Whistler build 2257. Uh, let's go ahead and change the date and time. Well, preferably just the date, no time. All right. Oh, well, that explains why it says that there was an error. I forgot to change the date in the BIOS. Oh, well, so it is 2000. I'm surprised that it didn't but, uh, break on me. Like it didn't kick me out. <laughs> okay, 25, no, eight. August, huh? Okay, there we go. Now I got a good timer on it, or a good date on it. I, all right, so I got the CD here with uh, Whistler build 2264 on it. Let's go ahead and pop it in. I think it has an auto run feature. I hope it does. I can't wait until we get a new background. Yes, I would like to upgrade to Windows 2000. Surprised they haven't fixed that yet. Oh, this is different. This looks like Windows Millennium. Express upgrade. Next here. I agree. Even though I'm not gonna go through it, I still agree. Look at that, man. This is definitely Windows me. There you go. Now you can see his face. Oh. All right, it's just gone. It didn't even ask for the product key or anything. Yeah, there's the Windows 2000 shutdown. Not booting to the CD. Well, what am I waiting on? Oh, look at that. It's got a little animation down here at the bottom left. I love it. I love to see it. I still don't understand why Microsoft got rid of these, these colored stuff going on there. It makes no sense to me. Starting Windows. Look at this. I was so happy to see this. I could never get this build to boot in uh, VMware or VirtualBox for some reason. Oh, the animation's gone again. Here we go. I'm ready to see it. There it is again. You love to see it. Holy crap, I wish that was not laggy. Is there any way for me to replay that? 
Literally slideshow. All right, welcome to Microsoft Windows. Man, this looks pretty. It's got a lot of HD textures to it. Whoa, it's color coded. Crazy how this Ubi never changed. This is pretty much this, it's very similar. Oh, I saw it look down there. There's a little text. Oh my, if I'm down here, it says his whistle and whistler. Hang on, let me let me see if I can get you guys to see this. Look at that. You gotta look up at it. Can't see it looking straight on. I can't even see it. There it is again. Well, where's the background at? There it is. That's not the one I was looking for, though. I'll have to change it back. Ooh. This looks different. All right, as you can see, I am now officially in Windows Codename Whistler, build 2264. Uh, I still have the background that was previously on there because it was considered an upgrade. I think I have all the drivers on it, but if not, I'll go. I'll just go ahead and run through everything first. Um, let's go ahead and see. Is there anything different about any of the menus? I don't think so. It's not in the list. It's not on the list. Go to professional. Yeah, my favorite background. What the heck is going on with the bottom? Why is it rendered so weird? Huh, weird, okay, well. I think all of these are the same. Does it still say Whistler? Yes, it does. The background is just busted. I guess it, I don't know why it's busted, but it's busted. Everything else on here is the same. Why is it like, look, it's even got the gray going on there too. That is so weird. It can't render it correctly. Is it just too much for it? I mean, I guess that wouldn't surprise me. You can barely make out the text there. It, it can't even render it when it's small. How weird. Hopefully it fixes whenever I go to the next build. And in settings, everything else here is the correct stuff. It's got the correct uh, graphics card. Somehow the screen area won't can't get any bigger, which is interesting. If I disable right combining, would that make it any faster? Yeah, if you're a mod, you get the blue wrench and everything. All right, well, we're now in uh, Whistler 2264. Synchronize is meant for. I think. I think I figured this out on my own. The synchronize program is meant for if you're working at, if you're at the Microsoft Office, uh, you walk in and you can press that button. If you're connected to that network, it'll synchronize everything that's been like upgraded and everything like that. Ports it over basically. I would love to see what programs they did. All right. Anything special? Apparently, in System Tools, getting started. I don't know why it's yellow. I mean, it's always been on here. It's just been disabled by default. Yeah, see, this is not. <laughs> I think that's it, though. Movie Maker is on here, so let's go ahead and check out Movie Maker. My computer. I hope that opened. Did that open, or did it just close it? My computer. This should just be the Windows Millennium version of Movie Maker. Oh my god. Uh, hey, okay, <laughs> um, <laughs> I've never seen that before. Let's go ahead and open up the system restore. Wait, what program am I running here? Is it R-S-T-R-U-I? 
Yes, that's exactly what it is. I mean, obviously I can't utilize this, but. Create a restore point. Test restore point. And not push enter to go next. That sucks. Cool. All right, well, there's that. I guess that's it. So uh, I'm going to play a little bit of pinball and see if I can beat my high score. All right, let's go. Play a little bit of pinball, let's try to beat my record. Which I think is three mil. Oh, I love pinball. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Um, I don't really have like anything I could say about this. There wasn't that much they added uh, to this build compared to, you know, whenever it first happened. Um, but if you guys would like to see me do more, uh, please put it down in the comments. I'm probably going to do more anyways. Stay tuned and uh, just wait and see what I, I have next. I have something pretty cool and planned for the next video. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys later. Goodbye, guys. I'm sorry, why the heck did it change to... What? Hello? What just happened?